Hi, this is Lee Smith here for Three Shades of Blue, your Grizzlies fan blog. Well, it's official. Today it was the first time that the Memphis community got a chance to meet Robert Perra, the new owner of the Memphis Grizzlies, as well as his number one, the CEO, Jason Levian, uh, who is the CEO of Memphis Basketball LLC. Uh, right here in the lobby of FedEx Forum is where the press conference occurred, and I got a chance to ask three questions, including whether or not you'll get to find out if Robert Perra will dunk the ball. Check it out. I want to say um, I, I'm an NBA super fan. Uh, I believe it's the greatest sport in the world, um, just from a fan perspective, from a player's perspective. Uh, Memphis as a city, it's unbelievable. The people have been great. Uh, I can tell the community is really special. And uh, those two things combined, I, I consider myself very, very fortunate. Uh, probably the luckiest man in the world right now. Um, so I went to his office in Taiwan, and uh, we were hanging out in his office, and he said, hey, you want to go shoot some hoops? I said, great, you know, let's, let's do it. So we, we went down to a, a gym uh, near his office, and we're stretching. He starts stretching and warming up, and uh, I'm on one end of the court, and he's on the other, and he says, hey, you want to, maybe we'll play some one-on-one. -on -one. I said, sure, you know, why not? I'm here in Taiwan, we'll have a good time. And uh, I see him warming up on the other end of the court, and very quickly I realize I'm in for a lot of trouble. Uh, the guy's, you know, he's, he's dunking the ball left and right, and, and I realized I had no idea what I got myself into. So I went down to the court and I said, you know, Robert, maybe we should play three on three and find some other guys here. <laughs> uh, but, but what I realized quickly in, in becoming so close to Robert um, is, first of all, what a great human being he is. I mean, I'm, I'm so lucky to have him uh, involved in this and be my partner in this and be the chairman of the team. And I think you, all of you are going to realize how lucky we are because He's just a phenomenal person. You know, we think we can compete with everybody. You know, we're not, we're not going to limit ourselves to being a small market team, and, and, and we think we can compete with everybody. We think the, the way the rules have been set up uh, uh, now uh, give us that opportunity. Uh, we want to be the best. We want to consistently be the best, and we're going to strive for that every day. And we're, we're going to try to outthink and outwork and out hustle people to do that. You know, there are 30 teams, you've got 29 competitors, and it's a zero sum game in the NBA in terms of wins and losses. So you know, we're going to constantly be thinking about how do we improve our organization uh, and how do we improve our, our opportunities to be successful. Well, I think we want to be very thoughtful about it uh, and, and smart about it, not just from a cost perspective, from a business-wise, but also with the salary cap rule. In the NBA, with a player, uh, you can pay dearly for a long time. Uh, so we want to be very careful and thoughtful and wise about it. Um, and my background, having been an agent, you know, I've sort of seen it from the other side of the table. I think uh, the majority of your costs running an NBA team are, are your player salaries. So thinking those through and figuring out you know, your team chemistry and what makes sense is going to be important. I don't think we, we draw a hard line in the sand on how much we'll spend because we want to win and we want to do it the right way. Um, so, but I think all those factors are going to weigh in, in our decision making. Will the fans get to see you dunk? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Robert's trainer and basketball coach, Terry Cannon, is here. He flew in from San Jose uh, to get Robert warm and loose and stretch him out. It, probably not this time, but he's going to come back and dunk, he promises. Yeah.